Well, welcome to Alpha Militaria. Um, I'm Richard Saunders and I'm going to be talking today about probably what is one of the most iconic um, PCP air rifle designs. Um, it's the Daystate Huntsman Regal. It's been around for quite a while, probably well, I should think a good 20 years or so, and there's been a few iterations of it. Uh, and the current model is, what I've got here, is the, uh, the Huntsman Regal. Uh, now there's four models of this. Uh, there's the standard Huntsman Regal, and there's the uh, the XL version, which has a slightly longer tube. The standard tube is 132 cc. The XL tube is 162 cc. And uh, there are there's a regulated and a non-regulated version of both of those guns as well. Um, now the design is what really sets the the Huntsman Regal apart from most other guns. It's got this beautiful uh, sporting rifle uh, kind of design to it. Um, the uh, the stock goes almost to the end of the uh, the standard cylinder uh, and covers most of that up. Uh, and the stock itself is this beautiful piece of, of walnut. It's made by Minelli in Italy. Um, now the stock is uh, as standard as a is a designated right hand uh, stock, but you can get left handed stocks as uh, factory options, and you can also get the bolt. Uh, put onto the left hand side as well as the factory option. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of run run down the rifle, point out its key features, um, point out a couple of things that um, uh, are not so great on it, um, and, and they are just a few things. Um, and then we'll take a few shots uh, to, to, to see how accurate it is. So starting at the back, you've got this uh, ventilated um, shoulder pad here. Um, in all honesty, you don't really need uh, a shoulder pad because there isn't much recoil from uh, from a PCP rifle um, but it does help you um, get comfortable with it because it has got a little bit of squishiness on it if that's a term. Um, moving forward so the pistol grip has got this um, uh, is, has got this uh, checkering on it which is very comfortable and it's got the R insignia um, into it as well and the small uh, there's an M on there as well to, to show that it's made by uh, Minelli. The pistol grip itself is uh, nicely swollen and very comfortable in the hand um, and it has a, uh, a groove up here uh, for you to shoot with a, uh, a thumbs up position or you can shoot in the conventional um, uh, wrap around uh, grip as well. Uh, there's a safety catch at the, the front here, very accessible uh, with your thumb when you're holding the gun to shoot. Um, it's a very um, 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 definite kind of on-off feel to it, uh, but you can operate it quietly if you're hunting. Uh, and then that, that gives you also access to the bolt. Now, in keeping with this um, sporting rifle design, all Huntsman Regals, uh, and, and in fact all Huntsman, uh, have been bolt action rifles as well. Forward of that, uh, you have a magazine, uh, the Daystate magazine, which is a 10-shot magazine. Um, <clears throat> and I have to say, I've never had an issue with, with, with one failing on me. Um, the, the magazine does stand proud of the action though, um, so you need to bear that in mind when you're putting your scope on because you'll want a set of mounts that will enable you to, to clear this magazine. Um, moving down the stock, again there's some, some very nice checkering on the, uh, the fore end of the stock. Um, and the overall rifle is very light, very compact, uh, regardless of which version you use. They're all around about six pounds in weight. Um, now, just to talk about the whole regulated, non-regulated thing, um, a lot of manufacturers are now putting regulators in their models. Um, and why would you want a regulated gun over a non-regulated gun? Well, just to explain what a regulator is to start with, if you think about it in terms of, like, if you go into a pub and you ask for, um, you know, a, a, a whiskey, the barman's going to go to the, the bottle at the back of the bar, which is upside down, and he's going to put the glass to the, the bottle and push a little plunger and get a very specific measure of, uh, of whiskey through the optic on the bottom of the bottle. Um, if you think about um, the air cylinder as your bottle of whiskey and the, the regulator as your, as your optic on the bottle, what it means is that every time you pull the trigger, um, the regulator gives you a very specific uh, measured amount of air per shot. Um, so your air is coming from that regulator as opposed from the main air supply or the main bottle of whiskey, if you like. Now, in reality, what that means is that you're going to get more shots per fill from a regulated gun. Um, because of its um, patented hammer system, 
Huntsman, Re Huntsman Regal rifles have got very good shot count for the size of the cylinder anyway. The non-regulated version in the standard cylinder will give you around about 90 shots in 2.2, uh, a little bit less in 177, which is, which is really good. But the regulated version, the Huntsman Regal HR, Humor Regulated, um, will give you around about 160 shots per fill, again in 2.2 and a little bit less in 177. Now, in addition to having more shots per fill, um, all of those shots will be more consistent in terms of velocity. So you won't get that power curve um, that you get on non-regulated guns. Um, moving forward from that, the, the barrel is uh, 17 inches and it is fully shrouded. Uh, and there is a UNF um, thread on the end to put a silencer. And if you're hunting, you probably will want that to be, um, to be uh, fitted with a, with a silencer. Um, now, um, the trigger itself um, is uh, fully adjustable, it's a very nice trigger and um, is uh, adjustable. You need, you'll need to remove the stock, ideally, which is just one bolt, um, to adjust the trigger. Um, and uh, the, the adjustment itself, you'll need to remove a small grub screw to access the adjustment for, for travel and for weight, and very easily done. Um, now. In terms of things that aren't so great on, on the Huntsman Regal, um, now it is possible to double load these. Um, to cock it, you're gonna need to pull the, the bolt back to that point and then back a second point um, to cock the rifle and then pushing it forward will cycle a pellet. Now it is possible to pull the bolt back, not cock the, the action, but to probe a pellet. Um, and then um, you know, if you do that and then you, you go to pull the trigger and nothing happens, if you then go back and cock it again and return the bolt, then you're going to put a, you're going to put a second pellet um, up the spout. Now that's easily dealt with because if you, if you realise that you've um, uh, cycled a pellet but haven't cocked the action, all you need to do is just um, pull it back, take the magazine out, return the bolt, take the shot uh, because you've got a pellet in the breech and then return the magazine again, and then carry on as normal. So that's one thing just to bear in mind. And if you do put more than one pellet up the spout, it's not a disaster, you can shoot them out, but obviously you're not gonna be accurate. Um, the other thing is that although the bolt is, um, is, uh, is sprung to an extent, it is possible, if you're carrying the gun um, over your shoulder on a sling, to just knock that bolt up. Um, and not realise when you take the shot um, and potentially that's going to make you less accurate as well. Each rifle comes supplied with a, uh, with a fill probe um, and you'll need an adapter to attach it to your whip. Uh, now this adapter is not supplied so you basically get the bronze bit. Um, and then if you twist the collar on the front here to, re to reveal the actual filler port the probe just goes in, push it all the way in. Now each rifle has a slightly different fill um, measure on it. And each one, each rifle um, is shown, its fill pressure is shown. So that's how you fill it. Remove the probe and twist that collar around again. And if you look on here, hopefully that's being shown, um, this rifle has a, a maximum fill pressure of 250 bar. Now I've seen them vary from 190 bar down to, uh, up to about 250. Um, a couple of other things. The, the trigger on the Huntsman Regal is, is a two-stage trigger. Uh, as I said before, fully adjustable as well. Now in terms of different power out, out, uh, outputs, um, in addition to 12 foot pound rifles, the FAC versions are 18 foot pounds for a 177, and 30 foot pounds and 40 foot pounds for a 22, and 40 foot pounds for a 25 as well. So the day state magazines are pretty tight, tried and tested, and they're, they're pretty reliable, I have to say. Now the way to fill them is, you'll see that there's uh, an indent on, on one side, you know, there isn't one on here, that's the back of the magazine. So you want to use this, uh, this little uh, U-shaped indent there to put your pellets in. And to fill it's simply a case of putting the pellet in and pushing it down, 
then turning it anti-clockwise to reveal another hole and then just keep going round like that. Now once that's, com that's completely full with all 10 pellets you'll notice that um, a red dot will appear on the side of the magazine. Now the magazine goes in from the left side of the gun um, and that with that red dot kind of lower uh, on the lowest part of the, uh, of the drum there. When that reappears that means that you're on your last pellet. So that's a quick rundown of the rifle. Um, we're going to put the, um, the camera on the side of the gun and take a few shots now to see uh, how it performs out on the range. Well that's not too bad, uh, a little bit of adjustment needed on the scope but uh, that's 10 pellets through one hole at 30 metres. Well that's the, uh, the Day State Huntsman, I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did please hit subscribe uh, on, the, uh, on the channel and also give us a like if that's okay. And if you'd like more information about the Huntsman Regal and all the other rifles in the uh, Day State range um, please take a moment and have a look at our website www.alphamilitaria.com where you'll find all kinds of information on different rifles, uh, buyers guides uh, and other hints and tips as well. Thanks for watching.